I need to collect at least six diamonds in my bowl to win the game. So this is how I win the game, and then I want that diamond should be uh, this falling diamond should be stopped, and the ball should not be here. Instead of that, a message "You won the game" should be displayed. So we are going to learn this all in this video. For that. I'll take a new file and then I will delete this cat. This is not the sprite. I'll choose the backdrop first. Let me take the star sky over here and now let's choose the backdrop. First, I had the crystals. So here is my crystal and I'm going to reduce the size of crystal a little bit by maybe by 75 then I had the bowl so I can find out the bowl from here after that first of all I want that my bowl should move to right or left so for that make sure that you click on the bowl then you go to events take the flag go to control take the forever block then if then block then go to sensing take key space pressed put it over here click on the drop down arrow and choose right arrow key in case you are moving to the right the x value is going to be changed by a positive number so that you can find in motion change x by 10 now instead of dragging each block over here what I can do I can duplicate it because it is mostly same except I have to make some changes like instead of right it is left and the value is going to be minus 10 now that's it and then if I press my right out here my keyboard it will go to the right and similarly on the left so the ball is perfectly moving now let's see how we can uh, make the diamonds fall for that I have you, can, you have seen that I have uh, number of crystals falling from the sky from falling from the top so instead of duplicating what I'll do I'll make a clone of the crystals I'll make some clones of the crystals I can make 20 I can make 25 even I can make 100 so that will be easier instead of duplicating them right so let's see how we can make the clone first of all I want that the, my whenever I click on the flag that diamond should be on the top and then it should fall down like this so just notice the position when it is on the top uh, like this so the value of y is uh, nearly you can say 170 and when it is at the bottom it's minus 180 so you have to take that value go to events take the flag then go to motion and take go to uh, let me change a little bit like this and then let me take a new one and then I want to, it to fall down so it will fall down by downwards so minus 10 y is going to be minus 10 okay so go to motion and change y by minus 10 click what will happen it will just go once but you want it to repeat until it reaches at the bottom so you have to take the repeat until block so go to control and take repeat until block and you want to repeat you want to make it y minus 10 until it reaches to uh, the position y is equal to minus 179 or maybe minus 180 so you have to compare comparing is in operators so just take this and reduce the value to minus 179 and take y you can go to motion and y position from here so let's see whether it is falling down or not yes it is so this is how the diamond will fall from the top 
but I want number of diamonds over here so over here I have to make the clones of the diamonds as I told you before so let's see how we can make the clone for that uh, if I want 20 clones so what I'll do uh, let me see events when clicked and just go to control take repeat and as, as I told you I want 20 diamonds so I'll change the value to 20 and just go to control I'm already here can you see the create clone of myself so just do this okay so if I click on the flag if you can see that 20 diamonds are here but only one is falling why because it has created 20 clones but only the original one is falling so what I want that uh, whenever I click on the flag all 20 diamonds should fall right so just uh, go to control and take when I start as a clone and drag the whole block here okay so now all the diamonds are falling from top to bottom but they are fall starting from the same position and ending at the same position so you have want that they should start from a different position or you can say random position so random position you can find in operators what I want is that they should fall from the top margin okay but only what should change uh, they should be somewhere here 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 so only x is going to change y is not gonna change so I have to take random values of x what I'll do I'll go to operators and then pick random okay and I'll fix it to x axis now x axis value goes to uh, 220 let's see let's see over here what is the value of x here the value of x is minus 232 and over here it is 222 so you can say 232 plus 232 minus 230 you can take that okay so let's see now they are all are starting from different position and falling at different position okay but now what I want that as they fall at the bottom when they touch the bottom line they should be deleted right so what I'll say that when they reach it reaches to minus 179 they should be deleted so go to control and you can see over here delete this clone option put it over here and test again so now all the clones have been deleted only this star is visible so you have to hide this star so what you will do move it over here go to looks and hide okay so the original one will be hidden but uh, I think the star clones are also hidden now what to do just uh, pick on show take the show block over here so now you, all the clones are visible except the original one okay now uh, what are you what do you want is they are falling and deleted at when they reach the bottom now uh, you want that the crystal should sense this bow okay so what you will do go to control again and take when I start as a clone and if you touch this ball so take the forever loop and if then condition if you touch the ball so you have to sense so if you touch and instead of max pointer what you will take the bowl if you if the crystal is touching the bowl the bowl, that crystal should be deleted right so just uh, go to control and delete this clone not over here but here okay so let's see whether yeah 
but you know when they all are falling all together so what you can do you can make them uh, when you are generating them see I am generating them over here so I can make uh, them wait by certain time so just go to control and take wins, wait one second over here so they will be generated after one second this is how they will be generated okay so it will be easier for you so you can see if the diamond is touching the bowel they are deleted so this is what I want